there never seems to be enough time in the day, right? Well, what if you could pray while you work out? That's the mission of Soul Core, a way to unite the physical and spiritual in a divine experience. And my colleagues and I got to check it out. Some tools are the same. Others are different. So we're going to put that there. It looks like yoga, but it isn't. Instead of mantras, participants recite the rosary. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The it's called Soul Core. Soul Core is a movement that engages the whole person in the sacred experience of the rosary and that pairs the prayers of the rosary with functional movement, stretching, and strengthening. This Catholic fitness apostolate is all about uniting the mind, body, and soul, combining poses with prayer. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Colleen Scariano created this movement mission after suffering a tragic loss. Her mom, dad, and brother all died in a span of three months. She turned to the Blessed Mother. The rosary began to be an instrument of healing through my grief. And as a busy mom, I started pairing the rosary with running, just more out of like getting two for one at the same time. And those times of the movement paired with the rosary became the most beautiful and healing time of prayer for me. Now, through Soul Corps, she's sharing her peace, leading others in praying the rosary to strengthen their souls while working out to strengthen their cores, making our prayer more powerful. We are created body and soul, and, and even the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us that in order to give the highest form of prayer possible to the Lord, that we need to engage both body and soul. We need to engage the full person. So fun. Each class is about 45 minutes to an hour, giving participants more than enough time to recite the rosary. And anyone of any age or fitness level can participate. So to find out more about this ministry and a special Movement for Mary challenge it's hosting this month, we're joined by co-founder of Soul Core, Colleen Scariano. Colleen, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So people watching that might say, oh, that's just praying while doing yoga. So tell me, aside from the prayer, what makes a Soul Core class different than yoga? Well, we love that question because it gives us the opportunity to share what Soul Core is and how it's unique and different. Soul Core is, we don't include any Sanskrit or any yoga poses, so um, that's one difference. But also, it's based on reflection on the life of Christ. So, and it's not about emptying the mind, it's about filling the mind with the virtues and the, the witness of the life of Christ and the Blessed Mother through the rosary. Um, also, we, Soul Core is really, you know, based in the rosary, as we say, and pairing those prayers. So it's really about that reflection time. And so there's so there's so many differences. And so it's great to be, give, be able to give the opportunity to share why. So during our class, I noticed we didn't actually recite the rosary out loud. We didn't say the prayers. Why is that? We, as, as a participant, you get to remain silent the whole time. And that's really an opportunity for the participant to have this these periods of silence throughout the prayer as well. And also we've found that connecting, if people do know the prayers, they're able to pray the second half silently them to themselves. And it helps us connect mentally to think more about what we're praying versus just saying prayers without giving much thought to what we're saying. So I had a lot of fun taking your class and at the end of the class you had mentioned that how the movements of Soul Corps are nothing new for Catholics because we do a lot of moving <laughs> during Mass. Talk about that. That's right. So we always say that, that Soul Corps engages the whole person in the sacred experience of the rosary. And we really feel like we're copycats of the liturgy and mass, how we do that. You know, there's different movements during mass. We come and we genuflect, we make the sign of the cross. These are all things that help to engage the body with the, the interior disposition of a soul in prayer. And so we do the same, you know, we use the same philosophy in soul court to do that, to engage body, mind, and soul in the prayer. Okay, so even though we're nearing the end of May, I know people can still join your Movement for Mary yes, Challenge, right? Yes, we do the Movement for Mary Challenge each May, and it's a way to, we ask people to pray, to commit to praying a decade of the rosary minimum and doing 30 minutes of movement and offering that movement to the Blessed Mother in honor of her and for and any intentions that we want to ask for her prayers for. And so it's really an amazing challenge. We have such a great participation in it, and we do it every May. So it's something people can still join this month or also look forward to joining next year as well. Wonderful co-founder of Soul Corps. Colleen Scariano. Thanks so much Thank for joining you so much. us. It's a joy to be here. So to find a Soul Core class near you or to join the Movement for Mary Challenge, just go to soulcore.com. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.